Guys, Deluded Goon, I actually wanted to bring you this um, earlier, and actually to make sense, before the World Cup under-17 started, so under-17 World Cup, that was a weird way to pronounce it. Um, Gladback Boss said England produced the best youngsters in the world at the moment. He said the group of 1999 to 2000, 2001, that's all Sanjo and all these players, um, or whoever's born in that, I think even Nelson falls under one of them, all of these players are some of the best. Now, for those who don't know, I mean, how can you not? England have always had a, cro a good crop lately. I'd say 07 has been brewing, like having a good crop of young players from under-21 level all the way down to under-17s. But now you're seeing some real talents, man. You're seeing the under-17s won the World Cup. You're seeing um, the um, under-20s won the World Cup earlier. Um, a youth side won Toulon. We've won under-19s championships. We've put in good performances. If we haven't won anything, we've shown up. And we're definitely more prominent face now in youth competition other than versus back in the days you wouldn't necessarily see england in toulon you wouldn't necessarily necessarily see england's youth sides at world cups and things like that so things are changing now this video isn't about how the whole the, the kids into the first team i've spoken about that and that's a different vid but if these lot can see it these 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 germans and and, and other um F, um and other coaches from around the world if they can see it why can't the premier league bosses give these men a chance like at levels they're all good man He's even said we know every top we know every top play, we know every player for um in these age groups and we believe they're the best in the world. He actually said he believed he believed they'd win the World Cup and they went and done it. So yeah, man, like he said, he basically said the most problem is the no is 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 that they get no chance in the first team. Um, yeah, man. And he spoke about he also briefly spoke about Sancho to Dortmund, but there's no point talking about that. But if these lot can see it. Why can't they? Now, if we look at the English, now if we look at the English domestic league, Foden. If this guy said he did, now this guy said this is these these kids are the best in the world, right? And he's spoken all of this. Foden falls under that. Pep's gassed him. Everybody's gassed. Everybody that's watched Foden can see he's sick. But is he going to get? Is he going to get in match days? Little minutes here and there that he would get if he was in if he was in um another side with less competition no i do think he's when the time comes he's going to get games but you have to look at the facts he's going against david silva who's passed it but passed it by his own standards but still there kevin de bruyne is in his own form he can play on the flanks so he's going against sane sterling all of these guys it, like yeah and i don't necessarily think Foden's one of these players that need to go out on loan and prove themselves i think he's one of them you keep close you give chances you because if he goes away he's a very technical based player if you send him to league one two championship teams are fighting in there isn't it? he's not necessarily the best player to help fight out of a league and and he needs a, a facility to develop so it's not necessarily going to help him and another re thing that gives me cause for concern is when you've got the West Ham hierarchy saying it's unlikely kids 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 will come through. I know they've got Declan Rice, who was formerly of Chelsea, but how can that stuff from how can that stuff be be how feel anyone with confidence if Ge if German Germans the World Cup winners are saying England have the best kids and they look they're watching all of them actively looking at all of them and watching all of them and some are even making moves and you got West Ham gaffer saying this all the big clubs in England are failing in that regards of bringing through youngsters. I mean, even we even praise my myself. I praise Pochettino for bringing through kids, but is it anywhere the level that we're, that we're praising him for? No, because what kids have really been that has Poch really brought through? None. And I'm not digging him out. I'm not digging Wenger out. I'm not digging any of the big clubs out. But they all need to hold their L, L's in this regards. Like even if even if we look at even if we look 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 at look at Chelsea, they've got several young players and young centre halves that are in that World Club side. They just went out and spent forty million on on Rudiger. What does that say? Now, again, not a tax at Chelsea, not because we know why they're doing these things. I'm just looking at it in the basis of a young player. If the Germans are saying you've got the best of players, centre halves, keepers, strikers, whatever, it, 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 it's a it's a it's a matter. Like I don't blame players for leaving and thing and things like that and going abroad to get better. But man, like it's a weird one. It's a weird one. From when everybody else can see that we got some great talents here and the clubs can't. Well, they can, but they can't give chances because they don't want to. It it, it fills me with with. Sadness, really, because, yeah, I will say, though, for British players, going abroad doesn't always equal success. You look at um, Dale Jennings, he went to um, Munich, of course, it was going to happen for him. And Ryan Gould, I hope I've said his name, Gould or something, this young Scottish guy, whiz kid, man. He went to sport and he hasn't been see seen since. It's been a bit so-so there. Um, yeah, we know the Germans have one of the best records because for kids because they don't like to hype you they like to fix their problems in-house rather than spend excluding Bayern Munich but yeah they don't really have the money to be spending so they have to be proactive and have a better IQ when it comes to youth players and youth talent and things like that they give talent and they I mean they give talent time and they don't really hype their players man they don't hype them until it's time to hype them 
versus like these kids in Germany will get the chances to develop. Look at Kai. Of, I'm not even going to say his last name. I've made a video about him of Leverkusen. Is anyone really gassing him? And he's 17 and things like he's 18 now, but he was 17. Was anybody gassing him in Germany? For my, if I, if if they were, then fair enough. But for me, they weren't. And versus in England, can you imagine a seventeen-year-old playing, uh, playing week in week out in in England? If they're good, if they're lucky enough to get time, what is going to happen? Oh, he's a with every good performance, he's a wonder kid. He's the next this, he's the next that. Always by people that don't even know football as well. Every bad performance, oh, he's a failure, he's a flop, he's crap, he's this, he's his head isn't turned, he spends too much money on clothes, all of this crap. Like the the. It, for English football is toxic It is toxic for young players It is toxic But the, the, this is the paradox It's sink or swim You have to be able to adapt now It's toxic But the same way Rashford And these sort of players adapted You have to do it now You have to Because we don't One thing Premier League clubs And managers And all these things in football Don't have is time now Anyways guys On that basis I don't think this was necessarily My best video But yeah man Deluded Guna I'm signing out Man we've got a real good group From 16 to the ages of 20 Particularly this um, if you're 17 to 20, 1999, 2000s, 2001s, there's some great players coming through.